Hi everyone. Hello, 大家中午好啊！今天真的好热呀。Yeah, we're gonna go to chapter、uh, 14 now. What yesterday we finished the whole chapter 13. Right. What chapter 13 talk about? I forgot most of it. Just kidding. So what do you remember about chapter 13? Two romantic younger generation. Okay, and we know who they are. All right, let's go see what happens next to them. Okay. After receiving her visitors, the countess was so tired. The countess was so tired that she gave orders. Gave orders means what? Say something. No. Gave orders. Let's go. Gave orders first. Um. Let other people say something. No. She told somebody to do something. That's order. She gave orders. Told who? Doesn't matter. Someone. She、mm. gave orders. Maybe servers. To admit no one. Admit means what? Accept. Yeah, accept no one, which means what? No visiting. Okay, but the porter. The porter is somebody who answers the doors. Was told to be sure to invite to dinner all who came to congratulate. The porter was told.、Mm. So she told, don't admit anyone. Yeah. But the porter was told what? It's just two orders. The porter is told. This countess said, "Don't let anybody in." Yeah. But remember, the count said, "Anybody who come to dinner, you know, can come."、Uh, countess wished to have a tete a tete. What is tete a tete? Head to head. Head to head. Talk with her friend of her childhood, Princess Anna Mikhailovna. So now we know who Anna is, whom she had not seen properly since she returned from Petersburg. So, so where was Anna? Anna is in Countess' house. Yes, but where was she before? Go to the、mm, Petersburg. Where? Petersburg. Where in Petersburg? The Anna Pavlovna's、um, party.、Yeah. Party. Right. Okay. So she just came back. So. So properly means not not very good.、Uh, no, properly means she wanted to properly talk to her because Anna Mikhailovna just came back. So this countess says she doesn't have enough time to talk properly to her. Okay. Okay. So she wants to talk properly to yeah, her. Yeah. Yeah. There are not many left of us old friends. That's why I so value your friendship. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Yeah. Okay. There are not many left of us. There's not many of us who have old friends. That's what she's saying. Like for example, if I ask you how many old friends do you have, from like little when you're a little kid, probably none, right? When a little child, how many friends do you have? Not many, right? Yes.、Yeah. So most people don't have many friends from them when, when they're child.、Mm. So she says there are not many of us. There are not many, many left of us who old friends. There are not many people who have old friends. That's why I so value your friendship. Anna Mikhailovna looked at her, at Vera, and paused. The countess pressed her friend's hand. So、uh, Vera is still there. So she looked at Vera and paused. She stopped. The countess pressed, pressed her friend's hand. Vera, she said to her eldest daughter, who was evidently not a favorite. So、uh, the countess doesn't really, doesn't have, doesn't really like. It's not a favorite daughter, Vera. How is it that you have so little tact? Don't you see? You're not wanted here. Go to the other girls, or, oh my gosh! So the mom says, Vera, you just go out. That's all that he's saying to her daughter. So little tact. Very little、uh, knowledge about like when people want her out, right? People want her to go out. She's not catching on to that. So little means no. Normally, no.、Mm-hmm. Almost no tact. Yeah. Okay. The handsome Vera smiled. Contemptuously means kind of in hatred, okay, content like don't like it. I don't like it. Smiled, but did not seem at all hurt. Okay. If you had told me sooner, Mama, I would have gone. She replied as she rose to to go to her own room. So okay. So now they're so going. So if you had told, told me, me sooner, sooner, I would have gone. Yes. But as she passed the sitting room, she noticed two. Couple sitting, <laughs>、uh, one pair at each window.、Mm. Two couples. Yes. She stopped and smiled scornfully again, not very, a、um, little bit of hatred.、Mm. Sonia was sitting close to Nicholas, who was copying out some verses for her. Copying, maybe he was writing some things for her. 
who is writing? Nicholas, Nicholas is writing, copy out verses. some verses for her. Yeah. Verses means words. Verse means like uh, some poem. Oh, some poem. okay. The first he had ever written. Oh, some something he written to to. Uh, he wrote a poem or something. Okay. Boris and Natasha were at the other window and ceased talking when Vera entered. Oh, ceased stop. Yeah. Sonia and Natasha looked at Vera with guilty, happy faces. Guilty? Guilty is like when you did something wrong, you're oh, guilty. Oh, why happy? They're happy, but they're, they feel like they're happy about each other. Okay. But, yeah. It was pleasant and touching to see these little girls in love. But apparently the sight of them roused no present feeling in Vera. So Vera was not happy. Okay. The sight of them? Yes, these girls. The sight? The, having seen them. Oh, roused? Bring up. Bring up to... No pleasant feelings. Oh, ah. um, okay. How often have I asked you not to take, not to take my things, she said. Mm. You have a room of your own. And she took the inkstand from Nicholas. So Nicholas used some kind of inkstand. Means the uh, 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 ink pen. No stand. We put ink. A stand, just like a music stand. It's a stand for ink. A stand for ink. Yeah. In a minute, in a minute, he said, dipping his pen. Put the pen back. Mm. You've always managed to do things at the wrong time. Continued Vera. You came rushing into the drawing room so that everyone felt ashamed of you. Uh oh. It's Vera talked to Nicholas. Nicholas. Yeah. Though what she said is quite just, perhaps for that very reason no one replied. So what she said was quite correct, just. You know, perhaps what, what he said was correct. And huh? maybe no, because no, no. what was just quite just correct. No, correct means just yeah, just kind of correct, not okay. not doing something. Uh, not going, you know, she's saying something truthfully. Uh, truthfully. Perhaps that, f for that reason, no one replies. So people understand that. For that very reason, no one replied. Okay. And the four simply looked at one another. Simply. Simply. Yeah. Normally. No, simply, simply. They just, they don't know what else to do. They just look at each other. They simply. Oh, okay. She lingered in the room, lingered. In the, so she stayed in the room with the ink stand in her hand. Mm. At your age, what secrets can there be between Natasha and Boris? Or between you two? It's all nonsense. Okay, at your age, mm. their age, mm. what secrets mm. can be there between you two, you two and between you two? You two? It's all nonsense. Nonsense is meaningless. Yeah. Now, Vera, what does it matter to you? said Natasha in defense. He's speaking very gently. So, Natasha is saying, why, why do you care, right? Yeah, what does it matter yeah, to yeah. you? It, it's none of your business. She seemed that day to be more than ever kind and affectionate to everyone. So, who was kind and affectionate? Affectionate is... Showing love. Okay. Very silly, said Vera. I'm ashamed of you. Secrets indeed. Huh? So Vera said, um, very silly to have these secrets. Oh. I'm ashamed of you. Yeah. Secrets indeed. Like, what kind of indeed just means really. Secrets really. That's what she said. Secrets really. Why do you have secrets, you okay. little, little kids? Oh. All have secrets of their own, answered Natasha, getting warmer. Mm. Getting warmer means she's getting more upset. Okay. We don't interfere with you and Berg. I don't know who Berg is. Maybe Must be Vera's Berg. boyfriend. Yeah. I should think not, said Vera, because there can be never there can never be anything wrong in my behavior. But I'll just tell Mama how you're behaving with Boris. Uh oh. So just gonna tell on You Natasha. said he so so she admitted the relationship between her and uh, Berg? Yes. Okay. Natalia Ilinichna behaves very well to me. Oh, Natalia. Uh, that's the Boris talking now. Mm. Natalia Ilinichna behaves very well to me, remarked Boris. I have nothing to complain of. Don't, don't, Boris. You're so Boris said, I have nothing to complain of. 
Well, basically, uh, basically, he's trying to say there's no secret, kind of, in some sense. Because he's uh -huh. saying that Natasha behaves very well. You don't have anything to complain. So this Natasha is a very formal name, right? Natalia, yeah. Don't Boris, you're such a diplomat, and that is really tiresome," said Natasha. Mm. It's just saying that Boris likes to like be a diplomat, somebody who speaks like a politician. Mm. In said Natasha, in a mortified, like uh, mortified, it's almost like a voice, kind of um, uh, almost as yeah, I guess mortified. I would say somebody who. Uh, kind of scared, uh, not not scared, scared of death kind of voice. I don't know why they use that. Mortified voice that trembled slightly. So she, her voice was trembling because Boris is trying to say something. Mm. She used the word diplomat, which was just then much in vogue among the children. So diplomat is, mm. you know, why did she use such a word? Because that's yeah. for politician. But this word was then, at that time, much in vogue, very popular with the children. In the special sense they attach to it. So I don't know what the special sense attached to it. Anyway, this word diplomat is normally not used and she shouldn't be using it. But for now, for some reason, this word is popular. Why does she bother me? And she added, turning to Vera. You will never understand it because you never loved anyone. You have no heart. You are a Madame de Janice uh, and nothing more. This nickname bestowed on Vera by Nicholas was considered very s stinging. Anyway, um, so she's basically complaining directly to Vera. Okay, she mm. doesn't want to bar to interfere. So why does she bother me? Why do you bother me? Okay. Right? You're, you, you will never understand it. Who's not going to understand? Vera's not going to understand it. Mm. Because you never loved anyone. To Vera, you never loved anyone. You have no heart. You're Madame de Janlis. I don't know. I, I think it means cold-hearted or whatever. Mm -hmm. And nothing more. This Madame de Janlis is just a name that they gave to her. It's mm -hmm. a nickname. Put put to Vera by Nicholas. So Nicholas called Vera, uh, Vera by that name. The stinging? Stinging means like a bee stinging you. The name, the name was very stinging. Like a bee? Yeah. Oh. And your greatest pleasure is to be unpleasant to people. So it's oh. like, you feel pleasant by making other people unpleasant. Oh. Go and flirt with Burke as much as you please. So that must be her boyfriend. <laughs> she finished quickly. <laughs> I shall at any rate not run after a young man before visitors. So she said, okay, well, whatever it is, mm -hmm. I won't be running uh, after some, some young man before other people. Who will run after? Natasha. Why? I don't know because maybe I'm not sure how that works. Natasha first came in and go out. Yeah, I don't know how that mm. works. Well, now that you now well now you have done what you wanted, put in Nicholas, said unpleasant things to everyone and upset them. Let's go to the nursery. So Nicholas says, "Okay, you made everybody upset. Mm. Let's go somewhere else." All four, like a flock of scared birds, they all got up and left the room. <laughs> The pleasant things were said to me, remarked Vera. I said none to anyone. So basically she said she didn't say any unpleasant thing. Mm. All the unpleasant things were said by other people. By Natasha and whatever, right? Mm. Madame de Janice. Madame de Janice shouted laughing voices through the door. So that's what the other kids were they're still calling her that name. That's a name that they gave to Vera. Oh, Vera? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not a good name. Yeah. The handsome Vera, who produced such an irritating and unpleasant effect on everyone, so she produced a very irritating and unpleasant effect. People don't like her, right? Irritating means? Irritation, just like... Um, it's, it kind itchy? Of, could be itchy, could be just like yeah, bothering you, oh, irritating. Okay. Smiled and evidently unmoved by what had been said to her, mm. so... Went, oh, she's so cool. Went so to the cold. looking glass and arranged her hair and scarf. So she went to the mirror, oh. arranged her hair and scarf. Look and at her scarf own. Scarf means. Scarf. Scarf means what? The stuff you go around your neck. Scarf. Oh, Ling mm. Looking at her own handsome face, she seemed to become still colder and calmer. 